playoff hockey. Let's go. Hey, we go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, fellas. Today it starts. What up, man? What up? I forgot about the 30 30. Let's go! Hell yeah. What up, man? What up? Love to see you. What's up, baby? What's up? How are you doing? Doing good. Good, man. Good to see you. It's late November at the Connery Rink in Lynn, Massachusetts. The eve of the 2021-22 high school hockey season is here after what seemed like the longest wait imaginable. Let's go, man. This is where it starts, baby. Oh. I'm going this way. I'm going to fall, big dog. This will be the first full season and state tournament played after the previous season was played under COVID-19 protocols. So needless to say, the atmosphere of the home barn is buzzing with excitement. What about you, Fieldsy? Yeah. Any preseason thoughts? No, it's great to be back. I'm okay. right. oh, 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 my day. God, you have the camera again. I can't stand this. I'm going to bleep it all. <laughs> Relax. Get out of my face. Relax. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm going to bleep it. Relax. Get used to it. You got at least 16 games of this crap. <laughs> Unlike how many teams in the state do it, there will be only one day of tryouts for the Spartans. The JV coaches are also on the ice with the boys as they want to see what they might get for the junior varsity team. So with the eyes of not only Coach Lee and also the JV coaches on them, there's absolutely no room for any player to slack off even a bit, eighth grader, freshman, or even senior. All right, listen up. So uh, for the next, uh, our JV coaches are going to run the on-ice stuff today, while the other coaches, we're going to be up there kind of just looking at some things. Um, so when you're done this, and again, pay attention, I don't care if you're a senior, captain, all the way down to your first time on the ice here with, with us. Uh, you're paying attention and you're listening to everything that's said. We want this to run smooth. Uh, you're not taking liberties on each other. What that means is we're not trying to hurt anybody today. We want to see uh, some good hockey, right? Uh, some good playmaking, uh, communication, all things that we want to see to help us uh, kind of pick some things apart, okay? Um, and then after this is over, uh, we're going to end it probably five minutes before uh, the actual ice time is over. Uh, we're going to want your shirts, the, the ones we gave you back, uh, and we're going to tell you what locker room to go in. All right, it's either going to be the locker room five or locker room six. Um, and understand that. There are no cuts being done today. What it is, it's we're going to start placing you in positions. There are going to be guys that are going to be sent, headed towards the JV stuff, uh, but that doesn't mean it's just JV. There's going to be guys that we're going to start, who might end up starting with the Vasi that could go over to JV, take the JVs to put the Vasi. So it's going to be, there's a lot of guys here that are very similar in skills. And it's, you're going to determine where you end up. Yeah? All right, listen up. Uh, first out for Blue. McGonagall Center in Bullock and uh, Danny Dominicone. 
Toto and Jadine are on D. Next line out will be Glowix, Barone, and Ailes with Chase on and O'Hare. Uh, the next line will be Merlino, Center and Fry, and Waters. White Net, you'll be going through with uh, Waters, Fry, and Merlino, okay? foundation of the 2021-22 season actually began in early 2021. The team finished the COVID-shortened season 4-6-3, yet through grit and determination won the end-of-season CCL tournament defeating rival Archbishop Williams, who at the time was 12-0-3. It was great that we won the CCL Cup, but overall, I, for me personally, it wasn't the best year. You know, like, it kind of sucked because you had to wear the masks and there was no one watching and it wasn't, it wasn't the same. But it was still hockey and, and I, had a good, I had a good time for the most part. It wasn't as good as this year, obviously, because, like, we had so many, so many fans, you know. <laughs> at the game, it was crazy, you know. It's great atmosphere, but, um, yeah. It was alright. Yeah, I think last year was definitely hard to uh, get get into it more than other years. You know, we didn't have a locker room. Showed up ten minutes before the game, already dressed. No fans, also. So, more than any other year, it was just hard to find motivation to like get up and get intense for the games. But um, we definitely pulled it together at the end and realized like if we want to have a good season, if we want to have fun, we're gonna have to win. So. We did that. They'd follow that up with a championship in the Playmaker Series at Essex Sports Center against heavily favored and then number one ranked Reading High, winning on senior Kyle Lenigro's overtime goal. Further run of success, the Spartans would go on to defeat another top-ranked team in the Playmakers Summer League, knocking off Gloucester High 7-0, a team that would eventually go one game shy of TD Garden in the Division II regular season. The Summer League did more than just provide ice time for the boys, rather it allowed current players to gain chemistry with soon-to-be new teammates, like Joey Calder, Evan O'Heard, and Cam McGonagher. It was awesome watching them in the locker room. It was hilarious, especially bot dancing like a maniac and getting there 20 minutes before the game. It was awesome. Um, um, the games are fun. I love Jake's intensity. 
He was fired up the whole time. The coaches that were there. It was just fun. I learned a lot from him. It helped. Of course it helps. Um, we're playing with the team that we actually had during the regular season, so we were on the ice with each other, getting our chemistry right. And then, um, but we start for, we start early doing captain's practices, so I thought that's what really helped us when we actually had the real team after tryouts. It's uh, five o'clock in the morning. What's up, dude? I told you I'd be here. It's like 5 a.m. 5 a.m. No, okay. That's what it's about, man. Right? What's the f***ing deal, bro? Good morning, eh? Yeah, bro, I was just laying on my couch. I'm like, I'm so fired up. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. Add in the two words, especially the young guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is lit, though. I love this place. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm on the floor. Whoa, whoa. I don't want any of that. Coming on, it's like low key, not even cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to get out there, man. The fact that they don't let us out there because they think we're going to get hurt by ourselves. The 6 a.m. practice is something every high school hockey player will have to experience at some point in their careers. Even I somehow managed to drag myself out of bed to film several of these throughout the course of the season. Nothing wakes you up quite like 20 degree New England winter. We're going to, we have our staple drills that. Uh, we'll do it during the course of the year. We're going to try to do a lot of different things, though, so you're going to have to pay attention, even the veteran players, okay? So um, we've all played the game. We know how you can dog it, how you can, you know, glide around a little bit. So we're going to be watching guys who really want to make a difference, okay? Coaches, and No, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The opening practice goes through its usual ups and downs. Many players need to shake off the rust of a long offseason. Most play for other juniors or club teams during the spring into the fall, but preparing for a high school season is a different preparation in its own unique way. Coach Lee demands the absolute best effort from each and every one of his players, and when he senses they aren't giving him just that, he'll let them know. Second, obviously, was the the, uh, the defensive part of the game. Guys losing the concept of you're on the defense, you got to pick up the open man, and and that, that's all going to come. But but for a first day, uh, it was I uh, I'm very uh, happy, I, and, and you should be too with the energy. I know the coaches are too. Uh, one last thing, we will have showers today. We're going to stretch for a couple of minutes. We do not want to start off on the wrong foot with school. 6 a.m. to 7, now you shower up and you get to school. We're not going to have issues with guys, I'm going to go to dunks, I'm going to go here, and then show up late on Tuesdays, okay? We don't want to piss anybody off there. We understand that? We're going to be a model <laughs> team, a model citizen, each one of us uh, walking the for the next three and a half, four months. Okay, so just on and off the ice, everything is done correctly, okay? 
We are very young, and we're gonna all have to buy into a defense first hockey team, all right? Making smart decisions with pucks, and our strength, uh, it's clearly, we have really good goaltending, and we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna build our team around that good goaltending, and, and we'll just talk about it a little more today, but just remember some of the concepts that we go over today, later on, and they're gonna be concepts we're gonna be talking about all the end, all right? All right, boys. School, man. Yeah, work hard. Keep on working. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Keep buzzing. Mm -hmm. I actually see you at the lecture hall. So, yeah, let's go. Lecture. A little film. Yeah. Pay attention to film. That's yeah. helpful. Everybody we're a, we're a defense first team. We've always been, so just focus on D. Let's go, boys. Spartans on three. One, two, three. Spartans. 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 Young kids on the floor. Hey, yeah, young guys. Hey, boys. Man, we like to see. Let's go. What's up, ladies? Preseason scrimmages serve a double purpose. In addition to determining who will make varsity and who will be sent directly to JV, they allow the team the chance to compete against top level competition that they will inevitably face during the regular season and hopefully playoffs. In the words of Coach Smith, they're just a tiny school on Tremont Street in Lynn. In other words, they have to fight to earn the respect of their competition. Right. Be smart out there, communicate with each other, talk. Uh, and we're gonna make mistakes today. But as long as everybody in this room comes off the ice and can say you gave everything you had, that's all we're going to ask for. We'll correct mistakes, okay? Go out there and play loose. You're all at this level right now because you played the game for a good amount of time. So have some fun today. Just keep the shift short. Play smart. And uh, we'll see what we end up with today. Holy big stuff. The scrimmage is played in two halves, and the first half is all Spartans. They open up a big lead into the locker room for the first intermission. Still, the coaches are not satisfied with what they see, and seem to predict what is about to happen in the rest of the game. Obviously a lot of mistakes, and one of the glaring things for us uh, was the giveaways in our own zone, and not taking care of the puck, putting it in safe areas, chipping pucks to get them out of the zone when you have nothing. We had several turnovers from guys trying to, in our zone, come up through the middle and, and get picked off. Again, uh, <laughs> Turnovers lead to four second-half goals by Woburn that result in a 5-5 tie. While the offense showed flashes of its potential, the team shows it has a lot of work to do before the regular season begins on December 11th. When we talk about things in between periods and we need to correct things, we have to correct them. We, we were and pucks up the middle that whole second half after we talked about that was a problem in the first half. And yet we still have guys wanting to go up the middle, up the middle, against a half ass team, and they were picking them off and having scoring opportunities and scoring. So if you, if you don't make adjustments, that you're not going to get better. If you don't listen and understand certain things that we're seeing as the game goes on, the team will play three more scrimmages before the regular season begins. The roster will be cut down in that interim. But at the moment, the boys face a different challenge, simply stacking the bags on the bus. I got yo, put the bag. Oh, he's got this whooper flaming us. The whooper's behind the scene. You don't need these. Yo, handed me the jerseys and I know where to put them. Wait, we're doing three rows. What? We're doing like three rows. 
Yeah. Oh, we're moving them right now. Wait. Whoa, we only have two rows? <laughs> here we go. Here we yeah, go. but right now we're making it three. So, Harvey's moving? Give me a bag. Yeah. Give me a Yo, you gotta bag. give him the bag. We used to do this way better back in the day. These young guys got no clue anymore. It's pissing me off. Bro. Stack. Legos, boys. Everyone played with Legos. I'd say it has a better effect, like a more positive effect than a negative effect. You'd rather, you know, find out what your mistake is at the start, fix it. That way, towards the end of the year, we're playing, you know, St. Mary's hockey and we're winning games. We don't have any mistakes that we need to fix at the end of the year. Most What's up, boy? We'll What's up, Barry? Let's go. What's up? As the season opener draws near, practices start to intensify as the coaching staff wants to correct some of the mistakes made during the preseason games. communication and with that you'll have opponents trying to but you, you're gonna get away with some of the entries like that in the course of games and they're gonna you know show up on the score more for us but we have to be disciplined and, and smart um, we've been very happy with your progress for the first week this is week two we, we don't now level off we need to just keep going getting better okay Come back Try to sit with your lines, all right? Everybody grab a stall. Wait, we go. We get dressed. We get dressed there tomorrow. Boys, tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow it all starts. Yeah. So when you get undressed, go down there and make sure it's an open stall for your young guys. Yeah. But you get a stall. First day, party. This is trouble. In the middle. What up? Whatever. The boys finally get to set up in their own home locker room. Remember, they were not allowed in there the entire previous season due to COVID protocols. The hockey locker room is a special place for every high school hockey player. You want to know the good old knee pad trick? They go up top. The old knee pad trick, they go bam. Tributes to the team's history line the walls of head coach Mark Lee's office. The name Lee is synonymous with St. Mary's hockey. When the 1980 graduate took over his old team in 1986, the program was facing dire times. Within four seasons, Lee had the team in tournament play, and in his 36 years behind the bench has made the playoffs in 31 of those seasons, including a pair of back-to-back -back Division I finals appearances, winning the latter in 2017. Coach 
Coach Lee is one of the biggest blue collar, hard work type of coaches you, you would uh, want to play for. Like he's the man, you want to make him proud. And um, I really wanted to go all the way for him this year, but I think we made him proud still. And no matter what, he's, he'll always be family. He's really blue collar hockey. That's all. That's how you describe Coach Lee. He wants you to go in, dump the puck in, and go hit him. He coached my dad, so he knows what he's doing, and he knows how to discipline kids when they need to be disciplined and how to make a good hockey team. Well, when I first met Coach Lee, he was very professional. He's been coaching for a long time, so he knows high school hockey and, you know, all the way through. Coach Lee, he, uh, he preaches old-time hockey, man, you know, like defense first and it creates a good offense. I, and I believe in that since playing with them, you know, it, it's shown like great things because we always have a winning record each year. You know, like the, the like, like on, people say, oh yeah, it's just on paper, but no, not on paper. Like every other year, he is like one of the top 10 teams in the state. <laughs> the weight of opening night probably weighs the most on the shoulders of senior goalie Owen Jean Grande. Owen had to wait two seasons before being named a starter his junior season. Playing goalie is one of the most physically demanding positions in any sport. Being the last line of defense on a team that emphasizes defense first is another challenge unto itself. I mean, for me, it was a little bit of both more excitement, kind of senior year, the nerves kind of settled down. I remember freshman, sophomore year, you know, uh, fighting for a backup job, that was nerve-wracking, and then you get more comfortable, especially with the program, the coaches, all the guys. I felt, uh, I don't know, I was just excited to try to go for something big this year. But I remember the night before I watched him on film, so I kind of knew something a little bit about him. And then I got to the rink and warming up. I go out and look at the ice before the game, and I saw that the crowd was filling up pretty good for us, which was a good surprise. We knew it was the first game after the COVID season where there was no fans, it was going to be a packed house. Um, we didn't know if the Bridgewater Arena was going to be good or not, so we were just coming in just ready. This thing looks like it just came fresh out of a wall. It's cold. It's cold, Brian. We need to uh, go with that 1-2-2 two, two aggressive forecheck to start. Um, we need quick shifts. We need clean changes. We need guys to be disciplined. We need to stay out of the box. That's huge. There is no team on our schedule that we can beat shorthanded, and you have to understand that. You have to be committed today to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined. You have to come ready to sacrifice your body you have to want to beat your man to the puck, if, whether it's taking a hit or not, and you need to make play with, with that puck. Defensive zone is the number one zone. Defense hockey is what is going to win games for us, and that's what this team is all about. We need to be clean in our zone. You need to communicate with each other, but it's the same game you've all been playing for a long time. So you're going to go out and just work your ass off for the guy next to you. Two weeks went by, right? right? They went by just like that. You bad your eyes, two weeks were gone. So this is home open at night, right? Do not, do not leave anything in this locker room. Leave it out there on the ice. Every time we take the ice, because we're going to be saying to you before you know it, there's two weeks left in your season. 
So one shift at a time, one period of time. We do this as a family together, all right? This is your bond. This is your house. We have to get back to the St. Mary's hockey where teams don't want to come play us here because we own this building. You guys understand that? Let's, go. Let's own our house tonight, okay? In the name of the Father, Son, Son and the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Bridgewater Raynham is a team the Spartans know little about. Twice the previous season, their games were canceled due to COVID-19, so there is no precedent to go off of. I saw it coming to the left. I stuck my stick out, hit it, tip right in. The first period is closer than expected. The Spartans enter the first intermission up 2-1 to one on goals by Christian Icavello and Jack Carpenter. The coaches are liking much of what they see, but they still see room for improvement. I have a guy parked in front of the net. That was the first goal. I couldn't see the puck. And like, on the power play, too, they had a guy screaming me the whole entire time. We gotta move bodies out move front. Them. They had two out front. We gotta move bodies out front. It was obvious the first few minutes, a lot of new guys here, a uh, little nervous out there, whatever. As soon as you calm down and realize it's just another team playing the same game you always played, you started to loosen up a little bit and play became uh, a little bit easier, a little more fluid, right? As passes were a lot of great passes that period, tape to tape. The eyes were up on a lot of guys. Uh, we were getting pucks in deep and we were getting some shots to the net. Um, but we have to understand, guys, this is going to be a dog fight. This is going to be a dog fight. You cannot take a shift off. One shift can be the difference of a game. Know your assignment, know your job, know that every time you're on the ice, you have to do your job for us to be su successful. And guess what? We don't need another goal to win. You understand that, right? So now it's defense first hockey more than anything. You're giving everything you had. We had a couple of nice, what do we call them, eats today? Already, eats. already. And that's what we need, guys sacrificing, getting out, because that's what wins games. And we're not here to boost anybody's stats. We're here to win hockey games. So let's get that done. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the buzz. <laughs> Let's go, man. We're gonna wake up. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Let's go. 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 Let's go.
We got 15 minutes left, boys. Let's show this team that we're so much better than them. This team sucks, boys. We're so much faster. All their goals are bull, dude. They're getting stupid screens on Sunshine. He's playing out of his mind right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's pick it up. Hey, let's go, boys. Let's go. Explode, two, three. One, two, three. Five. Domeniconi's locker room speech pays immediate dividends for the sophomore forward as he buries a Jack Carpenter feed to the low slot, scoring what is the eventual game winner. On the side, and he went like this, right on the. F***ing. He just went back. Did he get you in the hand? Oh, is that? That's it. Is it broken? <laughs> nah, nah, no way. If it was broken, I'd be in so much more pain. I think we're good. All right, probably still get it checked out. Yeah, yeah I think I'll be fine. Got anything to say after that? First up, I'm hyped. I don't even care that I got a little penalty at the end. Let's go. <laughs> the boys got it. I'm hyped. Let's go. <laughs> before we get into the good stuff, okay? First of all, uh, that was an embarrassment at the end. From the senior captain on down to the guys, do you have to understand, you have to act like you've been there. You're winning a game, a very close game. You don't, that, that benefits them. You stay out of it. You skate away from everything. We're here to win games, okay? Danny, where are you? Every time there was any altercation of any kind, you wouldn't stop your mouth and your place. You're in the middle of everything. You know what? You're a pretty good hockey player. That's got to stop. Stop. 
You don't get anything out of it. This ain't a fucking baseball field where you can fight until somebody wins. It's a joke. You don't have to be tough to act it tough out here. So that's done, because that put a real damper on an unbelievable third period by this team. So I'll take it as the first game from your captain on down, you just learned what not to do and how not to act. It, co it causes nothing but havoc for us when, a winning, when we're winning the game. So we've addressed it. What a third period by all you guys. What a third period. I was looking for you, dude. I was literally looking for you. I, I know, I know. And then I just, like, and then I was like, no, I just scored. I have to sell you. So I just went across. Yeah. yeah just, and you ended up shoving someone out of the way to do it. No, I know, dude. You got in my way. Like, that was my emotion. There's just no way I can make you do it. You know what it is. What? Nothing. Play good. Look Sorry, good. Play good. That's what they say. We looked good. We played good. Just, now we're here watching this amazing hockey, as you can tell. Um, St. Mary's. When's our next game? Arlington Cap, uh, Archbishop, Archbishop Williams, Wednesday. We'll see you there. Boom, transition. <laughs> Let's go, Brian. All year, it has to be like that. Just constant Ws. If they're all like that, I'm gonna love working exactly. this season. Exactly, they're all gonna be like that just for you. Let's go.